In November 2023, technological advancements and foreign investments have propelled the Israeli economy to rank 10th globally, with a 4.8% economic growth rate. In contrast, the Palestinian economy lags significantly behind, with a GDP of 13.6 billion in 2021, equivalent to 2.6% of Israel's total GDP. Isam Khoury, the senior advisor for the Levant at the Czech Slovak Institute of Oriental Studies and the founder of CESD, in his report titled The Fate of Palestinian Labor in Israel After the Gaza Conflicts, he provided detailed insights into the current state of employment and labor practices. The average monthly wage for a Palestinian worker in Israel is approximately 3,500 shekels, significantly lower than the average wage for an Israeli worker. In the second quarter of 2023, approximately 139,000 Palestinian workers were employed in Israel, with the majority from the West Bank. However, the number of workers from Gaza in Israel was only 18K, reflecting a decline since Hamas took control of the sector in 2007. The recent events of October 7, 2023 resulted in massive destruction in Gaza, leading to an economic catastrophe. The blockade of the sector by Israel and the governance of Hamas have further exacerbated the situation, with an unemployment rate of 50% and significant challenges for the population. The economic implications extend beyond Gaza, affecting Palestinian workers in the West Bank areas. Increased security control by the Israeli state poses a threat to Palestinian workers, leading to discrimination and potential salary and benefit reductions. The process of obtaining work permits within Israeli territories and the daily passage through Israeli military checkpoints result in significant time wasted for Palestinian workers. Additionally, the neglect of rights and entitlements, including compensation for sick leave and retirement funds, further impacts the well-being of Palestinian workers. The responsibility lies with both the Israeli government and the Palestinian leadership to create channels that facilitate safe labor movement for Palestinians in Israeli territories. Peace-oriented programs and cooperation are essential for the well-being of the economy and the mitigation of extremist influences. Discover the full report on the Czech Slovak Institute of Oriental Studies and Center for Environmental and Social Development's website.